Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for the week of February the 9th. I don't know why I've been given all these other months. Um, this is for the week of February the 9th through February the 15th, 2020. For Aquarius, I was saying September. For you guys, I was about to say November. I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's something significant that will happen then. But let's see what messages we have. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 9th through February the 15th. Okay. See what guidance we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Give me that kid. Yes, my kid is here studying. Supposed to be, but he's, I don't know what he's doing. But he's supposed to be studying. Thank you, kid. Ooh, peridium, peridium shift. I always want to say paradigm because that's what it looks like. But it's peridium. You are under, you are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open, and a new world can become your reality. All right, Pisces, I'm trying to tell you, y'all shifting into a new, a new existence. New existence, can I get it out? All right, let's see what messages we have. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 9th, February the 10th, February the 11th, February the 12th, February the 13th, February the 14th, and February the 15th of 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 9th through February the 15th of 2020. All right. High Priestess here. Trusting your own intuition. Trusting the knowledge that is within yourself. Some of you guys, I feel like you are needing to trust your intuition and walk away from a situation. Really search for more. Some of you guys are on a new path. You see they walking down the halls. Halls of a mentee? Maybe. Possibly. Y'all don't know what it is. Research it. Um, A-M-E-N-T-I. Halls of a mentee. All right. So Sunday here, we got the three of cups here. I feel like there's something either, either you're out with friends, um, could be having some drinks, having fun. You're dealing with multiple people. Or this has to do with your own emotional abundance, being in alignment with what makes you happy. With the Wheel of Fortune here, I do feel like there is some changes that are happening, destined changes that are happening this week. Two of Cups in regards to a partnership. Um, if you're dealing with multiple people, three could become two. Um, and it's going to be a big change because you need to be in the space of, again, trusting your intuition on how you're going to move, move forward. So... Wednesday, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's a new opportunity. Some of you guys are going to be gaining your independence from a situation this week. Um, Nine Pentacles is independent. I feel like you need to be confident about moving toward a new life for yourself. There are some changes that have occurred, some distant changes that have occurred within your life. Um, accept them and move forward. All right. So Friday, we have the devil here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, but there could be some negative or fear-based thoughts in regards to these changes. Also in regards to, you know, working on moving towards something new or even being independent. Justice here. This is about doing what is right for you. And I feel like if you're dealing with a karmic situation, by the end of the week, it's going to be balanced out. So three of cups here. We have the three of cups here for Sunday. Let's see, why this three, let's see why this three of cups is here. Why is this three of cups here? Full energy here. Some of you guys are going to take a leap of faith toward what makes you happy, what makes you feel abundant. There could also be a friend that is in a space of taking a leap of faith. Ten swords embracing the end of a difficult situation. Four of swords being in alignment with moving forward. Nine swords. I feel like for some of you guys, there is some anxiety that you may be dealing with or someone could be dealing with. But I feel like this is about your own happiness, your own abundance. So someone is going to be moving. Will of Fortune here. Why is this Will of Fortune here for Monday? Hmm. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords. So some of you guys are going to see the truth about what's delaying you, what's keeping you at this lack within your life. Five Pentacles here. Some of you guys could be worried here about some truths coming out, could be going back and forth within your head about what truths. Um, hmm. So the thing about this is, I feel like some of you guys are worried here 
about some truths being exposed or someone speaking some truths, but whatever is going to be spoken is in alignment with the changes that are happening. So there is a destined change that is going to happen. For some of you guys, there could be some challenging information that you're worried about that could be released. Someone could be speaking some truths. Regardless, regardless, whatever it is, is going to create a balance change in your life. Two of cups here. This has to do with a relationship. Maybe a friendship, relationship. It may be romantic. It may be platonic. Why is this two of cups here? Why is this two of cups here? Why is this two of cups here? We have the six of cups here, eight cups. Someone's walking away from a relationship. Three of swords, seven of connection, sun card here. There had there was a betrayal in the past. There was a betrayal in the past. It's going to come to light. Queen of Swords, I've just seen with truth and clarity. Somebody's going to speak truth about some sort of betrayal that has happened. This could be among friends. This could be among a past situation, a lover. Whatever the case may be, there's going to be a, a there's going to be a, a, a walking away. It may not be directly now, but eventually there will be a walking away because of this truth that is released. Ace of Pentacles, this is putting you toward a new opportunity, a new, you have a potential new life here. Um, and I feel like you're needing to work on facing your own fears, 10 pinnacles committing to this new life so that you can really bring balance to yourself. Moon card, this is you. You got a new life here, but you feel defeated. You could be going through some back and forth with someone mentally or, or verbally, but with the temperance here, divine timing is at play here. There is something that is being exposed that is happening in order to propel you toward, again, this new life. Eight pinnacles here. Why is this eight of pinnacles here? Why is this eight of pentacles here? We got the seven of pentacles. So some of you guys are working. Um, I feel like maybe you could be investing into an unfulfilled situation, but I feel like you're working on invest on planting some new seeds, six swords, so that you can move forward here. Nine wands here, overcoming. Who? Some of you guys are overcoming something that has oppressed you. I don't feel like this has to do with work. I feel like you're moving, you're working on investing seeds, moving into a new situation, finding the courage to move toward Ace of Wands, which is a new opportunity in your life. Someone also could have extended an olive branch and now you're trying to figure out how you're going to get to that, the promised land. So we have the devil card here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, could be dealing with some negative or fear-based thoughts. Knight of Cups here. Now there could be an offer coming in. Or you could have fear of making an offer here. Whew. This justice card as an eight, which is lust. I feel like some of you guys desire to make an offer here. Um, six of Pentacles here, possibly to balance out a situation, maybe something of the past, something dealing with some responsibilities. I feel like there's truth that has to be spoken in order for it. And I got truth here with the justice card. We got justice twice. So there is some truth that is going to be spoken. Destined truths here. Um, in order to put things in motion, I really don't think there's anything you can do about it because it's not coming from you. This is coming from someone else. Justice here. Why is this justice card here? Why is this justice card here? Why is this justice card here? We have Knight of Wands here. Someone is moving forward. Someone's acting off impulse. Even though it may not seem right, it is right. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups. Someone's establishing their strength. Queen of Cups is Scorpio energy, but it could be any water sign. It could be a mother figure. Um, it could be your mother. It could be your children's mother. You can be the mother. But someone's establishing their strength to move forward. Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, and speak some truth or bring truth and clarity to a situation in order to balance it out. I'll be, y'all got, it, not directly, you don't have the drama, but there's some drama um, <laughs> indirectly in your life, Pisces, um, but it's destined that this comes out. Someone here knows some secrets, high priestess knows some secrets, someone's going to speak that. What messages, new beginnings, it's bringing you toward a new beginning. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have for Pisces? First, whoo, ooh, I'm trying to motherfucking told you, tell you, told you, truth, what y'all see right there, there, it, let me see if I can get that to show, there's some motherfucking truth that's coming out, I'm, I know what I see, some of y'all got some truths that are coming out, some of y'all, these truths have to come out in order for you to be able to move forward, this is higher guidance here, this is people from, I'm not people, from entities from higher realms that see potential of a new beginning of a new future for you, but the truth has to come out. Brace yourself. 
That's all I'm going to tell you. Brace yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put that under there. I need to put that. Brace yourself. And I'm going to put yourself. Not yourself, but yourself. Because, baby, something about to hit the fan. I don't know how you're going to feel about it. Some of y'all, it's going to be all right. Some of y'all, y'all, the truth is some stuff that ain't so good. And it's a betrayal. This is all I have, Pisces. Until next time, peace.